Hey guys, uh, welcome to HSM class. Uh, we are in between series right now. We just finished our um, Who Are You, Who Am I series that took us through the spring. And here in a couple weeks after breakthrough, uh, newsflash, we're having breakthrough. So uh, June 15th through 17th, if you are going to be in sixth through eighth grade, um, you need to have your parents or you need to go online and register for breakthrough. So we, it's gonna look a lot different than um, what a normal breakthrough looks like, but um, we are going to find ways to get you involved in learning um, and service and in the word and with one another and with our high schoolers. So uh, we're really excited about it. And after breakthrough, we are going to be in a new series um, about Paul's prison epistles. So, which uh, we are gonna focus on Ephesians and Philippians. Philippians. Um, and so right now, um, the next two weeks are going to look a little different. Chase and I are just uh, going to interview each other about what's been going on um, in the social distancing quarantine time. Um, I don't know what he's going to ask me, and I've prepared questions, and he doesn't know what I'm going to ask him. And so we're just going to talk, and we hope that um, this conversation is meaningful to you, and we hope that you are having these conversations at home or with your friends, and that you are sort of processing what's going on and um, finding where God is in all of this and um, finding meaning. So we're just gonna, yeah. we're just gonna chit chat. I've got a few <laughs> questions. So the first one is, what is one thing that you've been doing to lower anxiety throughout quarantine? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, so my situation is kind of weird because I live by myself and so my anxiety yep. is not coming from like other people in my house, but is coming from me being by myself and feeling, you know, I'm an introvert and I love recharging alone time, but so many weeks, you know, so many days in a row alone time is yeah. a lot. And so um, like calling people and FaceTiming my friends um, and making sure I'm staying connected in ways that I maybe wasn't previous. Um, I've also been cooking a lot. I really enjoy That's cooking and baking. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been getting back into that. I haven't had time in a long time to like try new recipes. Or I was up until like eleven thirty the other night making cookies, <laughs> and I haven't done that in a long time. Is that so. the best thing that you've cooked? Um, <laughs> yeah, those cookies. They're lemon cookies. They're pretty good. I I've also made like sugar candied pecans that you would get at a fair or something, you know what I'm talking about? Or like yeah. Bucky's, yeah. they're really good. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, my second question is, have you started doing anything different spiritually that you didn't do before quarantine? Yeah, um, I have worked, well, I don't know if this is different. I've just worked harder at memorizing scripture. Um, which is something like I've always really wanted to do, but I've never felt like, I mean, it's an excuse to say that I haven't had the time to do it. Um, but especially now that like my mornings are more open and it's like, well, I don't have to be at work at yeah. 9 a.m. or whatever, then I can spend more time like really focusing on picking out scripture to memorize or working on scripture memory. And so I've always wanted to be someone like my grandmother who memorizes just a lot of scripture and kind of always has it ready, like mm -hmm. on your tongue and ready to go. And um, so I think this has been a season where I've been able to work on that more. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. a good segue to my next question, <laughs> okay. which is, is there any verse that has been a constant during this time? Ooh. I keep coming back to John 16 the end of John 16, I think it's 33, where Jesus promises that we'll have trouble in the world. Uh, the video I made at the very beginning of quarantine talked about that, that we are promised trouble, but then Jesus says, take heart, I have overcome the world. And just that word overcome, um, in a season where I feel helpless, I feel anxious, I feel um, alone sometimes, just the word overcome kind of means a lot of things that Jesus takes control of and takes charge of in my life when I don't have to. So um, that's a good one. I also, what I've been working on memorizing is Philippians 2, which is the Christ anthem, I think is what it, Christ prayer. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
but that talks about like you know Jesus taking on the nature of a servant and humbling himself and um, yep. being glorified and being exalted and so that at the at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue on heaven on earth and under the earth will confess that he is Lord and then it goes on to talk about not grumbling or arguing which is it does timely. Yep. yeah <laughs> So yeah, to be lights in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are both. Good so, did you memorize that one before? Was that like one you've always wanted to memorize, or was it like this? That is was fly one to me? I I had partially memorized for a class. I had memorized a couple verses, and I really liked it. And I that was like two or three years ago, and I wanted to keep up with it and go back to it. So, and I think Shane talked about that one in his sermon when he talked about cross, if I'm remembering. Or maybe restoration. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, very cool. Um, another question. How have you seen God moving during quarantine? Mm. I was going to ask you this one, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, man, I just, I think, like, having time to slow down um, has equated to me seeing God move more in like restoring your relationships with friends and family um you know you guys being a light to each other and checking in on each other and um, checking in on me and um, your family's checking in on me um, I've seen the way God has moved at our food pantry and the things Becky is doing um, with her volunteers to serve the community of Abilene um, in a time where people need food um, and they need reassurance or they need love and Becky's really good at doing all of that. Um, so I've seen God work in the ways he's moving uh, among his people primarily, I think. That's good. Yeah. All right, this is Anything the last else? question. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, how difficult is it to raise a puppy? And you can tell them about Raise a puppy. Joey yes, and... so I did, <laughs> I did get a puppy. Um, I got her when she was eight weeks old which is a baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been difficult. She's now 14 weeks old, and so we're getting a little better at, uh, <laughs> like, not biting when she's excited. So you think about it, that's how dogs play, is they, like, bite each other. So she's got to learn not to bite me. Um, but she's getting better. She's getting better about not going to the bathroom on the floor, which I appreciate. I do, I bought this, um, like, chew spray, she likes chewing on my carpet and that's it's a joke like I paid $15 for a water bottle because <laughs> she chews it anyway she like gets amped up that I'm spraying she's like oh let's so, go yeah she's like it's gonna taste like, better no. like time to go and like today I even accidentally had it on my fingers while I was making lunch and I like put my fingers in my mouth and I was like <laughs> that's disgusting so I don't she's know why like, she likes it yeah she's ridiculous but anyway yeah she's let me know if you want to hang out with me and Joey, because we got all the time in the world, and she loves to hang out with friends. So loves biting, loves biting new people. Loves biting, <laughs> yes. Uh, loves jumping, and yeah. So. All right. Well, that's it for this week. So tune in next week when Ashley will interview me, slash ask me spiritual questions. So all right, we'll see y'all then. See ya.